Hello everyone, today I'm going to share the second movement of the Luo Han Spasso, the short in I had 18 hands. So this movement, if it looks like this. As our summer camp coming in the two months time, which is in August, so this will be good for you to do the preparation training, okay? So if you cannot come in this year, so it's also get something to learn to practice at home as well. So once we get ready, let's get started. Okay, first, let's notice my arm start from my arm work. The right arm moving over your head, nice, easy. Take a circle to your right side of your hip. Drop down. This is my arm work. Next one, you notice my feet work. My feet work will be slowly top forward. Then my arm work again. So my hands will be push out, push out, and push out. The three push. Okay, don't worry, we'll get in more details. Now, first we're working on our arms. Concentrate on the right hands. Arm, circle, drop, down. That simple, right? Don't your arm too straight, just halfway. Like a big circle. Nice, easy, move the arm, drop down to your west area. Hands together, which are on the top of the bone area in the west. Okay, that's the arm work. When you breathe, will be inhale. So inhale. That's it. Okay, the, the second part you notice, the next one will be the feet work. The feet will, once you drop down here, feet is more close at the front. Kind of like a card stance. See my feet? Straight on line. This is too line. My feet this line. My feet are to go this way. So my feet will be top at the front. Okay, the distance about this one is just about half meter. Something like this. See here? This is the distance. The level of this one, you just like bend your knees slightly, hip sit back, nice easy tap. That's the feet. Sit between this feet, toes. Basically, use your palm. That's fine. So here. So this is the feet. Again, I link these two movements together. Arm go first. So inhale. Feet. Next one go in the arm. See the hands from this area, right up top. And the other hands on the top, back. And other hands on the top, back. Three push. Okay, that's formal. Notice my hands. After my feet, this one, hands is on the top. On the top, rolling out. And this hands drop down, this. And from there, top up, push out. And again, push out. So each time, see my hands rolling, 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 rolling like this. This is the last push, three push hands. Okay, that's the breeze will be exhale. So this is very important in this is breeze. After feet, then here, exhale. Got it? There's only one breathe. Exhale. 
then do the three pushes. So which means when you exhale, no breathing anymore, only one breathe down, but do three pushes. Okay, sounds a little bit complicated. Now let me demonstration for you. So inhale, okay, exhale, next. Uh, See that? One breathe, but when you use three times, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, <laughs> three seconds <laughs> to finish the three pushes. That's increase your strengthening of your stomach, but not stomach, the internal force. Okay, now link them together. A turning body this way. Okay, the arms start to work forward. Inhale. And finish. Okay, and again, set the time. Inhale. Okay, top. Exhale. That's three times. Got it? I'll show you one more time. Let's see this. Time, pace, feet. So inhale. Finish. Next, inhale again. You got it? So this thing called movement, but use different movement actions to allow squeezing, strengthening internal power. That's what's called the Qigong Abode. So the more detail of the breeze during the time when you do the movement, usually what I do is I hold, I close my mouth like this. <laughs> Most use my nose inhale and exhale. <laughs> Looks a bit weird. But basically that helps my block, my breeze, keep my breeze inside. Drop, drop, drop. That's what I mean. That's what I usually like. The eyes also will help you concentrate. Okay, that is the tips when you practice the movement. Okay, so that is the movement. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you get the most information out of this. And take this information and practice with you. Simple movement, but most important, keep regularly practice. Then you get the result. Okay, so for who you're interested for this summer camp, and I will leave uh, the information below the comment section so you can check them out if you're interested to do some special training, okay? That which means hold seven days, at least seven hours training a day. That would be tough, okay? Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you're well and looking forward to see you in the next video. Take it yourself, boom.